Okay, so we just defeated the big uh, giant beast, the Guardian. And uh, because of a little technical difficulty, looks like I kept on playing while the camera stopped recording. So, um, yeah, first we have to find the elf's like, healing draft, right? So, I've already kind of done this part, but I'll show you again anyway, because it stopped recording. Um, you jump on these little platforms, and we're going to try to get over there. Just like, keep on going. Keep on the little platforms. You can use walking stick jump, but it's not really necessary. And normally there'd be like something over here, like a healing draft right over here. And there's also a courage point in here, so don't forget that. Bling, we'll pretend I got it. <laughs> And then uh, try to drop down like carefully, because you can get hurt at that part. And so now we find Liana the elf, and she's gonna give us. She already gave us something. I feel but... stronger already. I shall leave these caves soon. She gave us a little um, key sort of thing that's gonna help us open these like different passages. And if you're wondering why I'm hurt, it's because um, there's a little extra you can get in here. And that's exactly, I think, where we left off, um, where the camera left off. Uh, you have to get into this, like, little corner here, this little, like, sort of nook. And there'd be, like, a little armadillo, like, creature here waiting for you. You just, like, kill it off, open the chest. And, um, these sort of blue chests are a little more difficult than the wooden ones because when you, um, accidentally don't open them or you, like, don't pick them properly, um, they'll actually hurt you, which is why I had to get those mushrooms over there. So now we're pretty much caught up, and the next part of the game comes in. Already saved game, but right, so now you have these things over here, these really disgusting, weird-looking snakes. And uh, the way you kill them off is you don't want to like just jump in there because they're all gonna like come at you and kill you. You're gonna wait over here, like and this thing's gonna try to kill you. So you're gonna use your throwing stones. Kill that one. Kill this one. Kill that one. No, oops. And there are lots of like um, things to replenish your throwing stones here. And uh, you can pretty much see like there'll be like a little like yellow arrow like indicating to you like where these things are. So we pretty much got all of them. And while we're here, there's a little thing over here. See these three green courage points. Don't want to forget them. After you've got them, we're gonna go to the next place. Before that, we can get um, our rocks replenished. Alright, so now, straight kill them again. Sometimes if you just get at the hole like where the yellow arrow is, like, they'll die. Even if they're not like poking their heads out, so... Just aim properly and you can like, pretty much kill them easily. all dead now. That was fun, wasn't it? And, uh, yeah, we, unfortunately we need more rocks. Let's see if there are any around here. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Alright, then we'll just, uh, we'll just keep going and we'll find more rocks somewhere else. Actually, no, were there some in the cave here? I don't think so, let's just look anyway. And it's kind of cool, at the end of this level, uh, you get a sword, so you can like kill off like harder enemies and stuff like that. Lots of fun stuff happens. And uh, let's take a good look around here. Aha! A little coin right there, you don't want to forget it. And uh, as Liana the elf gave us a special thing, the Witch King Crystal, there we go. You can just jump onto this thing, but you don't want to go there yet because Crystal go goes down here to some more goodies. Just kill this guy off. Gotcha. Pretty easy. Open these things, get some coins. Lots of goodies. See? Just jump back on here. And if you want, you can jump up over here again just to save game. I'm paranoid, so I do that. Oh, 
the sieve over here, gathering of the clouds. Just in case something happens again with the camera. And, uh... Yay, throwing stones. <laughs> Needed them. And uh, there are more wolf thingies coming. Yeah, it's good to attack these guys from behind. There's like a stone over here. It almost doesn't look like one, but we should catch it. Should we get it? Uh, so there are two routes over here, but let's just take care of this guy first. Actually, if you wait, yeah, the spikes take care of him, which is kind of nice. You gotta cut. to really be worried about over here. More silver pennies, yay. Just gotta be careful jumping over this. So you go, oh wait, don't forget these. Yeah, it's a rock. <laughs> uh, did you miss anything? No. You don't even have to go after them. See so if we can get their attention. Over here! So then, like, the spikes will get them for us. Unfortunately, we can't, so we have to go jump over there. Or maybe we can jump over ourselves. Awesome. It's a little trick. Yeah, you don't want to go too close to the side because then the bigger spikes will get you. So, we've gotten through this part pretty much unscathed. Don't tell me there are more. Yeah. yeah. Just get a whack away. That's it. Looks like we got the little, like, uh, treasure thingy here, too. Just make sure, just break everything. That's my advice to you in this game, break everything. It's not a bad idea. Because usually there's something inside it and you'll probably need it. And look at this, we get a little rest right over here. Sunlight again. Yeah, one second. And uh, yeah, we just, uh, there's probably a save point over here somewhere. Hopefully, isn't I'll be annoyed. No, it's just another part over there. Okay, so there's no save point here. Just, uh, you know, come back down. And we go back in this way. Why? Because there is something else left to do. One second. 